just read headlines and I'll go back into all of it. Bloomberg, Ebola cases mixed with malaria amid slow motion disaster. Rare recess hearing to deal with Ebola threat in Congress. Ebola spreads to Nigeria, government declares emergency. Washington Post, AP, Spain priest with Ebola stable in Madrid hospital. That's not a typo, that's the headline from AP. Spain priest, Spanish priest, they said Spain priest. Hispaniola priest with Ebola stable in Madrid hospital. That's a terrible headline. Continuing, New York hospital patients test negative for Ebola. Good news, AP. Expert panel to consult on Ebola, New York Times. What you need to just know to survive an Ebola outbreak before the panic could potentially start, an excellent article up on Infowars.com by Mac Slavo. I want to get on as a guest sometime. Another article by Michael Schneider on Infowars.com. It is becoming clear we are not prepared for an Ebola pandemic. Yeah, why are they bringing Ebola patients to Germany, Spain, and the U.S.? Unprecedented, just absolute recklessness when they can't even contain it at hospitals in Africa. The Truth About Ebola, Paul Joseph Watson on CBS with Dick Morris. And he breaks down that propaganda. Paul Joseph Watson joins Dick Morris on his CBS show to discuss how the feds are handling Ebola and media narratives concerning the crisis. Interesting headline there. Continuing, too big to fail has not ended. It's only gotten worse. Despite mission accomplished announcement, the big giant banks are worse than ever. This is the stuff I read all day before I get on air. that gets me so wound up. Whistleblower, Fed highly alarmed about Bitcoin conquering dollar system. Internal report reveals... Cryptocurrency would supersede existing Fed monopoly within 12 years. Vladimir Putin signs historic $20 billion oil deal with Iran to bypass Western sanctions. Russian government will help Iran bring its oil to market. That's out of the London Telegraph. Let's move right along to this stack of news. Afghan official. General's killer hid in bathroom to kill the major general. He opened fire when the general walked into view as part of the country's National Guard trained by the NATO U.S. forces. And they said an assault weapon did it uh, in the Associated Press and talked about how deadly they are and how bad they are. So I guess the answer is take all assault weapons away from the troops. They already do that when the generals and people come around. I mean, this is the world where even the military can't be trusted. Only robots can be trusted, you see. And here's another article. Store owner says bank accounts closed because he was selling guns. Daily Caller reports this is happening all over the country. This is happening all over the country where you can't have a gun shop, can't sell guns even legally. The big banks, everybody, newspapers won't take your ads. It's total racketeering, organized crime, groups working together to shut down free speech in this country country. It is a big deal. But meanwhile, actor Bo Bridges praises James Brady's firearms fight, calling it courageous when pigs like this guy have bodyguards on record and own guns in many cases, like Michael Moore. Absolute trash. Just like all the rest of the Hollywood folks that don't want to pay taxes, but want to raise yours. Facial recognition to find lost dogs. I meant to mention this yesterday. Oh, the face scanners on the streets will be looking for your dog. Of course, they're tracking everything you do as well. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. 
We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. What we're seeing happen here with immigration and the open border is just the open declaration of war against all law, against all due process, against all fairness and total discrimination. Just like over 2,000 major globalist companies are tax exempt from the Obamacare mandate, a hamburger place like McDonald's right next to a mom and pop, McDonald's is exempt. They can pay their employees more, have lower priced food, not having the insurance, and put the, the hamburger place next door to them out of business. Look at that discrimination. But health care is for the children, even though it's death panels. That's the same thing with the open borders. Just legalize whoever they want, whenever they want, by executive action, not even an executive order. And then Joe Biden and everybody else comes out and says, they're children. There are children. Just like Nancy Pelosi said. And then we sit here like children ourselves and go, yeah. Children from China and Africa and Mexico and Guatemala, they're ours. They get here and no, no, who they are is the state's children, just like Russia would do in the Soviet Union, to be raised, to literally be bots of the system, just like the Hitler youth. These are not somebody else's kids. These are our kids. These are the children that lift the national ambitions of each of these countries aloft. And um, he cares so much. It's a tragedy. Oh. The countries were losing them. And for us not being able to solve every one of their problems. Oh, he cares. We need to take that video clip and just loop it with images of dead kids being bombed. Uh, by the, quote, U.S. and by al-Qaeda forces at work for the globalists uh, in, in Syria. And then take another one and just show starving kids in America or kids shot in Chicago. I mean, it's such a joke. They're working as hard as they can to break the country, to get rid of our industry, to shut down our power plants, to make us dependent, to sterilize and abort as many kids as they can. And then he's like, these are our kids. We're going to get to that news more on Russia, new ISIS news, and, and a lot more. But first, we're going to take some of your phone calls because I want to try to work more calls into the broadcast when we can. <sighs> but before I go any further, please don't forget this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And when you go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex, you find really high quality you know, freshly produced, non-GMO foods, great customer service, 866-229-0927, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. I think you're crazy if you don't have storable foods in these crazy times, the shelter in place or whatever else is needed. And the best part is this insurance you can eat. Winning. Symbiotic relationships. That's what we're about here, ladies and gentlemen. And we will defend your rights. You will defend our rights. I am with you. You are with me. It's real simple. I love working hard. I love fighting tyrants. But I mean, I'll be honest. I would never commit suicide, ladies and gentlemen. I love life so much. But I'll be quite honest with people. Somebody walks up to me in public and blows my brains out. You just got me off work, ladies and gentlemen. You think I'm afraid of any of it? I'm afraid of nothing other than failing. I'm afraid of not being a good person. I'm afraid of my soul not being lined up, pointed at God. And I'm afraid of not going with God via Candios. That's all I'm afraid of. I'm free. Has anybody figured that out yet? New World Order kills me. All they've done is punched me out of work. 
and people say, don't, don't, don't tell them what you're afraid of. Obviously, I don't want to be in a torture camp. Obviously, I don't want to be kept for 30 years in a dungeon. But if that's the cost, that, I tell you, I'm not afraid to die. I'm afraid of that. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for it all. You can even destroy my mind. You'll never get my soul. You think God counts it when you torture somebody into giving up? No, those people go right to God. And that's where I want to be for eternity in the universe and all the things God's got ready for us, all the great adventures. This is only the beginning. This is only boot camp. And I want to come out of here with an A+. Plus. You understand that? This isn't a game, people. This is the real deal. All right, let's go ahead and take a couple of these phone calls and then... Department of Justice report says regions near Mexico border most crime ridden in the U.S. except for Chicago. Everywhere run by the evil New World Order is a cesspit of pain because that's what they like. They're pointed at their God. They've gone with their God. They've gone with the devil. How do you say that in Spanish? Visa con Dios. Go with God. Vaya con Satanás. Yeah, that's their slogan. Via, via, sounds better to say via con diablo. Yeah, via con diablo. Yeah, not me. No, no, not going with Diablo. Because I got enough Diablo in me to know where that really goes. And let me tell you something. I'm not signing on to any of that. The devil sells it like a hot cheerleader with a devil tail. That's not what the devil's like. At the bottom of the spider hole, there's a big mean spider going to suck your soul out. Nothing but pain and anguish and dishonor and weakness. I don't want any part of it. I'm not even getting to the news yet. Let me go to your phone calls like I said I would. Let's talk to Dakota in Nevada. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, I want to talk about um, the precedent that's being set by the police not following the Constitution and um, where that points us as people and how we're expected, you know, to lay down our arms. If the police can't even protect us, then who's left? Well, no, that's the breakdown of society. And that's why you see sheriffs and police chiefs everywhere with a look of manliness on their faces, but concern, their eyes wide open, their eyes focused. Black sheriffs, Hispanic sheriffs, white sheriffs, you name it, police chiefs everywhere. There was more yesterday saying the government is creating lawlessness. There is a crime wave. Buy guns, defend yourselves. Always carry a gun. Go out and get basic training with it. You know, we're with you because they care about humanity. You're going to see cops say, we're going to defend the Constitution and Bill of Rights. We know evil's taking over. Or they're going to say, I don't care, I can do whatever I want. You're going to see those two things happen as America circles the black hole. As we you go faster and faster and faster into that vortex. So, uh, I mean, places like Chicago and New York are just going to collapse. Uh, and then the suburbs will be fine in Chicago that have got the actual middle class people. In Chicago, one area is nice and safe, the next area is a living hell. You're just going to see compartmentalization. L.A. is going to collapse. It already is collapsing. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's already burning. I mean, last time I was in L.A., I was sitting there literally at somebody's house in this big swimming pool with a butler bringing me iced tea with, with women laid out in bikinis with ash raining down. And the time I'd been there before at a movie star's house, there was ash raining down that time. I mean, ash like hell. And as I flew in, there was like city was burning all over. And, and you could just feel the, 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 the spirit of the, of the town, the saint of Los Angeles, El Diablo. And I was like, this is hell. I need to get out of here. And, and I've been invited out there literally 50 times since then or more. And I've not gone. No, 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 I will not set foot in Los Angeles. I mean, it is a real spirit of evil. You don't feel it in Santa Cruz. You don't feel it in San Diego. You don't even feel it in San Francisco. You feel it in L.A., man. Whew, I will not get near it. Anyways, anything else, caller? Uh, I just had one more question, and uh, that's how far do you think this is going to go before anybody wakes up? 
bioweapons being released. I don't know if it's this with the Ebola, probably not. Um, billions dead, world government, robot, robots on the streets, drones flying around with taser guns. I told people about that 15 years ago. It's now rolled out. Uh, just armored vehicles, disease, uh, almost complete infertility in the population. It'll just exponentially grow in the decades to come until if God doesn't intervene, no flesh will be spared. And, and, and Joel Olstein will be on TV the whole time, name it and claim it. And, 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 and you know, the big mega churches will have their counselors telling their wives to divorce their husbands and worship the government. It'll just be just absolute Satanism on the streets. Let's go back to your calls. Jordan in Colorado, you're on the air. Go ahead. Well, first off, I just want to let you know I'm a former SEER instructor in the United States Air Force. Uh, for those listeners that don't know, a SEER instructor is a survival, evasion, resistance, and escape specialist. Um, what we do is we teach people how to survive in the woods if they were to go down behind enemy lines, and ultimately, if they were to be captured, how to make it through the prisoner war camp. Now, my comments are on Sergeant Birdball. Um What's the deal with this whole situation? Uh, this guy was clearly a deserter, and this investigator, I, I don't know what his findings were, but um, the, the situation is utterly ridiculous. His entire, um, the, all the soldiers that were with him have clearly said that he was a deserter. He left a note saying that he was leaving. Um, why, why is this even being allowed to go forward? Why is he not being hung on the steps of the National Mall? I mean, that's what is called for in the UCMJ when you commit treason. Well, that's interesting, sir. Um, where do you see all this going? Uh, <laughs> World War III. I mean, with everything that's going on in Russia and Ukraine right now, Obama is pissing Putin off. It is not looking good. He, he is having, you know, a unit measuring contest, so to say, right now with Putin. Um, all the things that going in. Africa, the Ebola, man, it's, it's scaring the ever-loving crap out of me. Um, it's, it's going to global war is what they're trying to do. Uh, I, I see by 2016, uh, martial law is definitely going to be cleared so that Obama will try to uh, stay in office. And uh, once that happens, civil war will erupt. Um, other countries will see us as weak, and then they'll move in and try to swoop in on us while we're weak. Well, I know this. A major time of global change is upon us, and that's why the Chinese are saying they're going to grab the Philippines or areas of it and parts uh, of Japan that Japan claims are their islands. That's why you see Al-Qaeda moving into Africa under IS. That's why you see the West moving into Ukraine. It's why you see all these new alliances being made in the BRICS. It's why you see Homeland Security clamping down. Uh, we're going into a mafia-based economy, and uh, the military admits they're getting ready for collapse, but the troops are being told, oh, we don't know why this happened. No, we've been maneuvered into this position under Agenda 21. And again, Cloward and Piven is only one aspect or one university perspective on how to wreck the country to make us domestic. Slaves. And that's what this has come down to. Right now, let's talk to John in Missouri. Thanks for holding. He's a KCXL 1140 AM listener. That's been an affiliate off and on for about 15 years. Uh, John, great to have you on with us from KCXL country. Uh, what's your point today, sir? Hey, uh, Alex. Um, I'm, I feel like a first-time caller. Uh, I think the last time I got in was like 99 or something. Yeah, I think uh, if you haven't called in in 15 years, I think that counts as a first-time caller. Yeah, I mean, yeah, every it's hard to get in, but that's that's okay because everybody's waking up. Hey, um, uh, you remember a time when the news come on? I remember, you know, coming home from school, and you'd have so and so in Saigon and so and so in Paris reporting this. And do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah, and I don't. Uh, and nowadays, I mean, that was gone a long time ago. Nowadays, uh, you know, it's all propaganda stuff. That's in oh, the yeah, news. now there's, there's hardly ever reporters there in the field are telling you what's happening. It's always just press releases that have no reflection of reality. That's right. And I, and I won't keep you any longer, but you guys, that's why I like listening to you. Uh, you progress so much, and you're sending reporters into the field. That is excellent. Well, brother, you take up our time anytime. Thank you and spread the word there on 1140 AM. Big station, huge audience in Kansas City. God bless you, John. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Rob in Maine. Rob, you're on the air. 
Yeah, hello, Alex. Hey, brother. Um, I do a show up here on Public Access TV, Portland, Maine. We salute you. News and Blues. We salute the you. Last twelve years, and uh, we got turned on to a lot of the truth by you. And uh, thanks for having me on. You bet, brother. Hey, tell folks: are, are you taking your show and putting it on YouTube? I record it and then send it into the. I do put it on YouTube as well. Yeah. No, because exactly because everybody that does access television that still has huge audiences in most areas should also doppelgang it onto the YouTube, and then it'll become local news as well. Uh, but what you calling about today, brother? You want to talk about Ebola? I wanted to ask you if you had heard about uh, Dr. Rima Labo uh, saying that nano silver was, uh, well, would neutralize Ebola virus or kill it. Uh, well, I know she's a prestigious medical doctor. We've had her on off and on over the years. She's married to the former head of special forces and then the head of special army operations. You name it. I think it was like a two, three-star general. Uh, general Stubblebine, amazing uh, information. They made movies about him. Um, and uh, George Clooney, uh, I think, played him. But, but the whole point is, is that, yes, I'm not a medical doctor, so I can't say that. I know that I couldn't get rid of a chest infection that... Killed my uncle, almost killed my dad, killed my cousin, and killed my dad's older cousin, who he called his uncle, who I was very close to. So this, and this was killing people all over the country, but it wasn't on the news. And I drank three bottles of nano silver in one week. I'm not telling people to do that, because that, some people can say that could be toxic. You know what? It finally knocked it out, and I'm here. Uh, I mean, I had a, a chest cold for two months. Uh, and some people in my family thought it was like a selected bio attack or something. It was so bad. Uh, but so, yeah, I mean, I respect her. Well, okay, good. She says it was uh, actually uh, discovered by the uh, United States, some form of their government, one of the medical departments or whatever, and then suppressed back in 2009. Yeah, no, that's and, uh, true. And I mean, she'd be the one to know. I mean, General Stubblebine had about as high a level security clearance as you could get, even connected in to the National Security Council above the Joint Chiefs. So, uh, and he, he can't talk about most of it, but it's just fantastic information. Thank you so much, caller. God bless you. Feet behind enemy lines in an occupied country by more and more socialist progressives uh, who, who don't want to pay taxes themselves, like Warren Buffett and others. They just want to get banker bailouts and then promote taxes on the middle class. People like Bill Gates, people like Robert Redford, ladies and gentlemen, makes me want to throw up that we've got so many really rich people that made money in the American system, and now they want more of a monopolistic system based on government control, and they are destroying our republic. Coming up in a few minutes, we're going to talk to Bill Bonner, who has got another book coming out that's destined to be a bestseller. He's had two New York Times top bestsellers. Hormageddon, How Too Much of a Good Thing Leads to Disaster. We're going to be talking to him for the balance of the hour here in just a few minutes. The Department of Justice is now saying regions near the Mexico border, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California have the highest crime rate in the country. And that's now spreading deeper into the nation. The Daily Mail reports, I will not rest until these worthless pieces of bleep are dead. Anguished um, mother who watched two of her uh, family members killed vows to get justice. And the people that reportedly ambushed her husband and son and gunned them down that, that, that killed Mrs. Vega's son and husband on a fishing trip, had been deported six times for other violent crimes. And Obama released just a few months ago 36,000 violent felons. Won't even deport them now. Rapists, child molesters, bank robbers, arsonists. But if they catch you speeding, folks, they're going to throw the book at you. TSA's got to check your baby's diaper to make sure there's not a bomb in there. Meanwhile, more of the ISIS forces trained by NATO and our government that have been turned loose all over the Middle East are in Iraq now. After being repulsed out of Syria, Iraq militants seize Christian towns. Capture follows withdrawals from towns by Kurdish forces. And Obama for three months will not attack these Al-Qaeda 
forces that they armed. Rebels have captured last week the largest dam and are threatening to flood Baghdad. This is the total crazy town stuff that is going on. And again, our government is directly involved. Of course, you can't even call it our government, the, the globalists that are involved. One more piece of news, we're going to our prestigious guest. No Ebola drugs for Africans, says the UN and the CDC. That's out of Breitbart. No drugs for Africans, even though they've got a bunch of drugs that have been tested and proven to reduce the 90 plus percent kill rate, 91 percent kill rate of Ebola in Africa, cutting it down to less than 50 percent. And that would help stop the spread of it, wouldn't it? But no, instead they're shipping Ebola victims into Spain, into Germany, and into the U.S. Now they're talking about bringing even more in. Uh, I mean, this is just crazy. They can't contain it in Africa, so let's bring it in here. That's never before been done. Russia has strategic bombers conducting more than 16 incursions of U.S. air defense zones. Spike in Bear H flights over past week seen as test of U.S. air defenses as the new Cold War kicks off. And Russia is becoming more capitalist than us in many cases. And I'm not saying Russia's our hope or that Russia's some pantheon or paragon of justice. No. Communist China is about as evil as it gets their government. Our government loves their systems. And so we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, we are in so much trouble in my view. And I'm not being negative. I want to be honest about where we're at and talk to the experts out there who pretty much agree across the board. We're entering a mega age of crisis with technological sub singularities building towards perfect storm cluster events that will decide the future of humanity. This is the time to be politically involved. This is the time to be repenting and, and, and to be getting involved for justice everywhere we can and for sanity and cooler heads that prevail in governments, in capitals, everywhere. And to have more whistleblowers exposing what's happening. Alex Jones here for Infowars.com. We're going to be intensifying our efforts to awaken free humanity to the scourge of the globalist in the month of July. And starting this July 4th, we are going to slash prices in a celebration of true Americana, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the Declaration of Independence on all of the Made in America products that you will find at madein1776.com or infowarsstore.com. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in brass and nickeled brass that state it loud and proud. Molon Labe, that's why we have the best-selling Made in America men's and women's Molon Labe Infowars.com shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a win-win. You vote with your dollars, you support the most hardcore organization out there for promoting true ideas of libertarianism, constitutionalism, basic human empowerment. But more importantly, you get t-shirts and belt buckles so you can meet like-minded people. So you have a conversation starter with friends and family and coworkers. We are reaching out to each other. And you also throw it in the face of the anti-gunners and the rest of the parasites out there that you're a free man and woman and that you're not going to be a slave, that, that, that you're not going to be intimidated to shut up by their tyranny that they call political correctness. That's why in the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. But to expand the info orb, we're offering the biggest special in the history, what is it, 13 years of Prison Planet. TV, our multimedia platform, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at PrisonPlanet.tv and you get 11 memberships that can be used with the same username and passcode so you can share it with friends and family. Now is the time to fund the war bonds. Now is the time to fund the info war. Now is the time to get aggressive. Now is the time to double down. Now is the time to realize you are the people that made the info war so successful and one of the leading lights worldwide against tyranny. 
You don't stand behind us. You stand right beside us. And I salute all of you on this July 4th, 2014 and going forward in the month of July and onward. This is about freedom worldwide and that desire for human dignity and self-determination that beats in the human breast. We are brothers and sisters together in the true spirit of liberty and the animating contest of liberty. And so I quote in closing the great Thomas Jefferson that I have sworn on the altar of God resistance against every form of tyranny. And never forget, if you are watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance.